Hi guys, it's Valentina. Today I will talk you about how you can help save animals from kill shelters in the US. I wrote everything so as not forget anything. Let's start. First of all, you can adopt because in the kill shelters there are also rabbits, rodents, guinea pigs, hens, roosters, and so on, not only cats and dogs. These kill shelters are places of death and desolation for innocent animals. In some states like Utah, Ohio, Missouri, and Wyoming, the gas chambers is still legal. In the other states, they use lethal injection without anesthesia. You can check the link in the description below this video. So, how you can help? As I said before, adapting is always the best choice. But, if you have space and time, you can contact the certified rescues in your area and propose yourself as a temporary foster. It means hosting one or more animals for a specific period of time. This allows rescues to have more space to save other animals from kill shelters and this is very important, especially in the kitten season which is every spring and summer. But it always helps to be a foster at any time of the year. About food and vet care, if you have the ability to provide, great. If you cannot provide, the rescues will provide with everything and pay for the vet care. You can also start a fundraiser. Rescues do it often. So, don't hesitate to open the door of your home and your heart to host these innocent creatures. You can easily find on Google the shelters and the rescue groups in your city or near your city. In the end, as always, I remind you my petition I've started two months ago addressed to President Biden to ban kill shelters in the US. You can find, as always, you can find my petition uh, in comment below this video and in link tree in my Instagram bio. I'm uh, on Instagram, I'm Valentina underscore unlimited. So please sign this petition, share this petition and share this important video. Thank you so much.